Many people have tried to copy Pollock's techniques, some in homage, others in attempted forgeries. But nobody seems to be able to reproduce that magic that Pollock brought to the originals. Pollock's paintings seem to have captured something of the wildness of the natural world. But for a long time, no one could define exactly what it was that made his work so appealing. Until it came to the attention of artist and physicist Richard Taylor. His unique approach was to invent a machine that could mimic Pollock's eccentric painting style. It's all based on this apparatus called the Pollockizer. The Pollockizer? That's, that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> now what it is essentially though is uh, what's called uh, a kicked pendulum. And as you know, a basic pendulum is very, very regular like a clock. But at the top here, what you've got is a little device that can actually knock the string as it's swinging around. And that induces a very different type of motion called chaotic motion. So this would be like Pollock's hand. This would be what he'd be trying to achieve with that sort of off-balance uh, um, painting that we do. Absolutely. So they're very similar processes. It's very effective. By recreating his technique, the Pollockizer is able to mimic one particular aspect of the artist's work. And that is that it appears more or less the same no matter how closely you look. You keep on seeing these patterns unfolding in front of you. And with a Pollock painting, all of those patterns at different size scales look the same. This is a property known as fractal. So if I took um, pictures at these different scales and showed them to somebody, in some sense they wouldn't be able to tell which one was the close and which one was far away. Absolutely. So as long as you can't see that canvas edge, then you have no idea whether you're standing 30 feet away or 2 feet away. They'll both have exactly the same level of complexity. More than any other painter, Jackson Pollock was able to consistently repeat the same level of complexity at different scales throughout his paintings. The fractal quality of his work appeals to us because despite seeming abstract, it actually mirrors the reality of the world around us. When we started to actually analyse the buried patterns in there, this amazing thing emerged. Deep down, hidden in there, is this level of mathematical structure. So there's this really delicate interplay between something that looks messy and chaotic, yeah. but actually it has structure and some underlying code hidden inside it. Absolutely, and you can see it not only in his paintings, but you see it everywhere. You know, like a tree outside. You look at the tree from far away, you see this big trunk with a few branches going off. Superficially, they look cluttered and they look incredibly complex. But your eye can sense that there's a sort of underlying mathematical structure to it all. Pollock was the first person to actually put it on canvas in a direct fashion that no other artist has ever done. It really is the basic fingerprint of nature. And that's what's most fascinating about Pollock's art. In creating works devoid of conventional meaning, he had in fact stumbled across something fundamental. Because fractals are how nature builds the world. <laughs>